So understanding that they needed to prescribe specific concentrations improved in the CHIP group. Fluid prescriptions in general just improved with the, with the CHIP group. I think just because they had a lot more practice actually prescribing for actual children that they were seeing. Um, and as well we got them to do some discharge prescriptions as well which again improved. So from doing this we found a statistically significant um, improvement in the prescribing. Now we know there's some limitations in this in that it was done in with kind of a small sample size at one point in time. So we know that the prescribing test that we've done obviously doesn't test retention. Um, but we're looking at getting hold of the exam results for this time round and seeing if the CHIP students do any better than the students who didn't do the CHIP week on their prescribing um, tests that they had in their exams. I'm working on that at the moment, haven't quite got there yet. Um, and the other thing we're planning on doing as a result of the CHIP week, we're starting implementing a prescribing diary with the next cohort of students who come in so that they can use a booklet similar to what they use in the CHIP week to practice their prescriptions but for the whole attachment and seeing if that makes any difference and see if we can improve their prescribing even further. So we hope that so I'm going to implement this prescribing diary and possibly again implementing the chip week itself but again I'm going to talk a bit more about that a bit later on this morning. Um, we'll help improve prescribing particularly in paediatrics um, but maybe in some other specialties as well if people are interested in adopting it. Um, Thank you.